We begin now with a developing story out of Broward County where deputies are investigating a deadly shooting. We're told the victim was barbecuing when he was shot and killed. CBS 4's Riel Creighton is live at the scene in Pompano Beach with more. Riel, good morning. Good morning, Lauren and Eugene. What we know is that, as you said, the victim was out here barbecuing when he was shot. Investigators say they have multiple witnesses, and right now they're just trying to figure out what happened in the moments right before that shooting. But let me show you the picture of who that victim is. It's 46-year-old Trevor Mitchell. I just spoke to a family member who tells me that he was a selfless kind of person who went to work and came home and was likely out here in the area cooking and helping someone else. Let me show you the video of what this scene looked like yesterday. This is where Mitchell was shot as he was grilling. This is at 220 Northwest 15th Place at around 7.30 last night when he was gunned down. He and another man got into some sort of argument. Police say the man then unloaded, shooting Mitchell multiple times and then drove off in a truck. The suspect got into an accident on I-95 and was stopped near Davy Boulevard and taken into custody. Several other agencies also responded to that scene, including Fort Lauderdale PD and Florida Highway Patrol. The suspect initially relented and did not want to get out of his vehicle. There was a shot fired. However, he was not shooting at law enforcement officers. He was finally coaxed out of his vehicle and taken into custody. Well, right now, detectives are trying to determine the relationship between that shooter and Mitchell, although the family member that I just spoke to doesn't believe that there is one. Deputies have not released that suspect's name. Live in Pompano Beach, Riel Creighton, CBS 4 This Morning.